Eva Palachkova, Senior Political Advisor at the European People's Party. It's a pleasure to chat with you on this beautiful morning in Brussels. Uh, you've written a very interesting blog post uh, published on our foundation, uh, foundation members website, the Wilfrid Martin Center for European Studies. I thought the title was very provocative, uh, Gasping for Air, How to Lock Down the Clear Blue Skies. And one of the things to me that was most interesting is you talk about air quality as opposed to climate change, which to me maybe hasn't been so clear. I know you're an expert on climate change. What's the difference, first of all, between climate change and air quality? Mm -hmm. Well, both of these phenomena are intertwined and caused by many of the same human activities. So this is uh, transportation, uh, power generation, domestic heating, agriculture. What causes climate change is when carbon dioxide is released into the atmosphere, where it creates a greenhouse effect, which causes global warming, warming for, with consequences for the planet. So that's the CO2. Air quality is about the air around us that you and I breathe, which is being polluted by substances like particulate matter. This is uh, dust-like particles, um, sulfur dioxide, nitrogen dioxide, ozone. And um, this air pollution is harmful to human health, but also biodiversity and the environment in general. The subtitle of, of your blog post is How to Lock Down the Clear Blue Sky. So obviously you're talking about lockdown, coronavirus crisis. So how has the coronavirus crisis had an effect on air quality? Well, the corona crisis is above all a public health crisis. And living in areas with high levels of air pollution is, has been identified as one of the risk factors for the disease. But I also talk about the lockdown experience when the human activity came to a halt and we have seen direct consequences on the levels of air quality. Air pollution decreased in many cities to up to 50%. And how has our EPP family in particular have you know, shown leadership or showing a unique perspective on this issue? Mm -hmm. Well, I would again like to come back to the lockdown experience. Um, we have seen that people were able to respect strict confinement rules because they understood their logic. And I think same kind of awareness will be needed on all levels, citizens, businesses, decision makers. To, for the paradigm shift towards the cleaner world we all got to experience in the past weeks. I don't think it can be achieved through over-regulation, but we also cannot afford to ignore the problem because it is urgent. So I think clean transition should be center to the recovery from the corona crisis. And uh, like this, we can create sustainable growth and uh, resilient job, jobs, but uh, more details are in my blog. Thanks so much for that explanation. To all of you, you can find out more by reading Eva's blog post. The link is above this video.